to make cream puffs. In my saucepan, I have one cup of water. To it, I'm gonna add four ounces, which is one stick of butter. And what we're gonna do is boil, bring this to a boil over medium to high heat. During this time of quarantine and shelter in place, are you cooking more at home or baking more? Leave me a comment down here. Let me know what you're making. Before I add my one cup of flour, I wanna make sure that this mixture comes to a boil. Add your flour and whisk it in. You're gonna shut the heat off so you get it incorporated. Now that I have my mixture combined, I'm gonna use a heat proof spatula or if you have a wooden spoon at home, that's okay too. And I'm just gonna really mix this together. Now that my mixture is all incorporated, I'm turning the heat back on low with the mixture in an even layer. And I'm just gonna allow the mixture to cook out a little bit more of the moisture. My mixture is cooked for about two minutes. You don't need to go much longer than two minutes. So what we're gonna do is transfer this mixture into a mixing bowl and we're gonna allow the steam to get out to cool it down. You want your mixing bowl to be attached with a paddle. So what I'm gonna do now is allow the mixer to release the steam. We want our mixture to cool down before we add our eggs. We don't want scrambled eggs in our cream puffs. That'd be silly. So the trick to the next step is you add four eggs, but you're doing it one at a time. Now that I have all my eggs incorporated, this is how you want your mixture to look. It's gonna look kind of gummy, maybe kind of like silly putty. So I have a, a piping bag with a just a round tip. If you don't have a bag and a tip, you can use a Ziploc bag and just cut the end off. And an easy trick to fill your bag without getting the top messy is just put it on a cup like this, fold it down, Add your mixture in. The top isn't messy. Who wants a messy piping bag? I know I don't. You just push down from the center and then pull up. And don't worry about the little tail. I'll explain in the end how we can fix that. When you're piping these, don't pipe them too close. Remember, it's called a cream puff. It's gonna puff up. Have these silly little tails on our cream puffs. We don't like those, so I'm gonna dip my finger in a little bit of water, and all you gotta do is tap it down like that. Look, no more tail. There they go. So in order to get your cream puffs filled with whipped cream or pastry cream, you have to make holes in the bottom. So I'm just using a round tip, and I'm making a hole. So then when I go to pipe, it'll be really easy to just fill through that hole. I've got my whipped cream in a bag. I've got my hole in the bottom of my thing. So I'm just gonna pipe it in. And you wanna make sure that it gets all the way throughout when you pipe it in. You don't wanna cut in or bite into it and there be no whipped cream. You can feel the difference in the weight as the whipped cream goes into the cream puff. So I've got some chocolate melted here. So all you gotta do is dip it in like this and set it down. So I've got a sifter here, powdered sugar, and I'm just gonna dust the tops with some powdered sugar. And there you have it. Thanks for tuning in to Baking with Lexi.